Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Judge Roll's Chino Air Show lawsuit can move forward. First flight of C-97G Angel Deliverance expected soon. And Texas bans drones over stadiums and other facilities. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's June 2nd, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A judge in San Bernardino County, California, has ruled that a lawsuit filed by a group of tenants at the Chino Airport to stop the annual Plains of Fame air show can go forward. The tenants, Yanks Air Museum, Flying Tigers Aviation, SoCal MRO, and Zangade Aeronautics, had hoped to stop the 2017 show, but they later asked the judge to withdraw their original complaint so that vendors, performers, and people who had already bought tickets to the show were not inconvenienced. But they had always intended to continue with the lawsuit after the show was completed. A hearing was scheduled on Tuesday to entertain a motion to dismiss the suit by the Plains of Fame Museum. A previous motion to dismiss was denied earlier this month. The court will hold a second hearing on June 13th. Yanks Air Museum director Christian Wright said that the air show is disruptive to other businesses at the airport and that they hope to find a fair resolution prior to the 2018 air show that will allow it to continue in a way that does not harm our business. The companies are seeking compensation for the lost revenue during the air show dating back to 2013 and changes in how the show is run. The Berlin Airlift Historical Foundation is reportedly ready to fly the world's only certified and airworthy C-97 Stratto freighter. The foundation acquired the aircraft in 1996 with the intention of creating a flying exhibit dedicated to the Berlin Airlift and the Cold War. This aircraft has been a long-term project due to its complexities. The BAHF said on its website, owing much of that to its 28-cylinder Pratt & Whitney R4360 engines. Warbird News reports that the airplane was ferried to Grable, Wyoming for restoration. The FAA signed off on the airplane in 2000, and it was painted to represent the only C-97 to be used in the Berlin Airlift. She is currently being housed at the Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn, New York. The first engine runs took place in October of last year and crew training got underway, but the program ran into a snag due to the FAA requirements on crew currency requirements. While rules require that pilots need to be current in type, there are no such pilots on the planet. BAHF is currently waiting for the FAA to confirm acceptance of the pilots and engineers with multiple type ratings to fly the airplane. After the break, more dumb drone regs, this time from Texas. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at earl-news.net. Here we go again, another day, another biopic drone reg. This time, the Texas legislator has passed a law banning drones over sports stadiums and correctional facilities. Beginning September 1st, it will be illegal in the state of Texas to fly over a sports arena that can accommodate at least 30,000 people, jails or prisons. 
It also prohibits the operation of a drone over an immigrant detention center. Violations of the law are punishable by up to six months in jail. Lawmakers who sponsored the legislation said it is designed to protect the public from the potential use of weaponized drones at large stadiums and the delivery of contraband into prisons using the aircraft. But opponents countered with the argument that the federal government is responsible for regulating airspace and aircraft, and the bill could have a chilling effect on the drone industry in Texas. A Boeing 707 that was delivered to Qantas Airlines in 1964 is returning to Australia, courtesy of its current owner, actor, and pilot John Travolta. Travolta announced that he would be donating the aircraft to Historical Aircraft Restoration Society. Travolta said, As many of you will know, flying is a passion of mine, and I am just so grateful to be fortunate enough to count many hours flying such a beautiful aircraft. I was honored to have the 707 repainted in the original Qantas colors when I became the ambassador for the airline. And it's so fitting that many of the volunteers at HARS are retired Qantas employees. The aircraft currently requires a lot of work to be restored to be a safe flying state, and having seen firsthand the dedication and passion of people at HARS, I have no doubt this beautiful and historical aircraft will be flying again. HARS have an impressive track record of restoring historical aircraft, and I have personally flown in a super constellation that they restored to flying condition from almost nothing. I am hoping to be part of the crew to fly the aircraft to Australia, supported by well-qualified and experienced pilots and engineers. After these messages, new Hertzel 4-Blade prop approved. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Airplane modifier Texas Turbine Conversions has received an STC for Hartzell Propeller's four-blade composite swept prop design for single-engine Supervan 900 aircraft. Hartzell Propeller Executive Vice President J.J. Friggy noted that the 110-inch diameter propeller, which is 60 pounds lighter than the prop it replaces, blends advanced aerodynamics and sophisticated manufacturing processes to increase performance and deliver extraordinary reliability. Airbus Helicopters is moving forward with the expansion of its global footprint and its strategic partnership with China, as construction is now underway for its H-135 final assembly line, the first of its kind not only for Airbus helicopters, but also for the Western helicopter industry in China. The first TBN 930 simulator, a high-fidelity flight training device, has just been certified by the FAA, enabling its service entry next month in courses at Florida-based Simcom Aviation Training, which is Dyer's U.S. training partner. This FTD reproduces the exact cockpit environment of Dyer's latest TBM 930 very fast turboprop aircraft. Sloan Helicopters announced new contracts at eBase 2017. Sloan ordered an Augusta Westland brand new light twin helicopter, which will be delivered in 2018. Another VIP configured brand new will be delivered by the distributor to a private customer next year. Sloan will also hand over an AW169 light intermediate helicopter to a private operator later this year. 
Actor Bruce Willis plans to build a private airport near Fairfield, Idaho, has been stopped, at least temporarily, by a judge in Camas County, Idaho, who said the county commission acted improperly in approving the project. Judge Robert Elgie ruled May 19th that the county commission and the planning and zoning commission ignored the county's comprehensive plan when it drafted the ordinance. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you Monday.